With the second trailer for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero fast approaching, I want to have a discussion as to why we may not actually see a huge bunch of characters revealed in the second trailer. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and join the Discord. It's in the description. Just click away, join up. If you want to be first to know about tournaments, maybe giveaways that I'm doing, I will reveal it in my Discord first. Now, something I noticed with scans such as the Psycho Jump was that we saw different angles of the characters in gameplay screenshots, which made me think that we we're going to get a gameplay trailer sooner or later now i think with them announcing a trailer for next sunday that trailer is going to show us more gameplay for the characters that we saw in the first trailer so it's not just going to be goku vegeta frieza broly fighting we're going to see the other characters fight in perhaps they make use and reveal more information this could also be the first time we get a look at the UI for the game, get a more expansive look at the gameplay mechanics, and also see exactly what they plan on doing, whether they announce a closed beta, they re announce the release date, maybe also give us pre-order details. These are things that we all want to know, but that's not too far out there for a game that doesn't have a release date just quite yet i've seen people share their opinions that they want to see a whole spew of characters be revealed or some of the hypest character forms be revealed and i'm just thinking like i don't know if that makes sense from a marketing stance i think it's more likely we'll see characters like gohan goten kid trunks goten spirits Whis. i expect those type of characters to appear versus characters like beast gohan ui Goku, Orange Piccolo, like some of the hypest forms we saw. I think they want to wait for later as we get closer to the release date. Otherwise, what entices the person to buy, especially considering that not every fan is watching every event, so they have to space these hype things out, post it on their socials, and plan it out correctly. So as it stands right now, I don't expect us to see a lot of characters revealed in this next trailer, more so the battle mechanics, the UI, some new details, and plus we also have the questionnaire so we might even get things answered for us so that we don't have to necessarily see in the trailer. So with that all said and done, do you guys expect us to see a large cast of characters in this next trailer? If so, why? And how come Psycho Jump showed off the gameplay screenshots that we haven't seen where they came from? But let me know down in the comment section. I am Makai San, and I'll catch you guys later.